I think a solar show is much more lonely. I never knew. It's a bleak existence because you come to a, a strange city and then you, you know, you're around st- strangers all day and then it's just a darkened room with, uh, you know what I mean, anonymous faces laughing. But um, yeah, it's a fucking, it's an empty place in a way. I don't know how the pros have done it for so long. It appeared that you were on something during last night's performance, were you? No, I wasn't, man. It's all, uh, it's just a biological uh, chemical imbalance. The actual funny thing is I'm, I'm not even drinking at the moment. So it's, uh, I'm completely so. Um, you know, I gave up drinking like 60 days ago. So I've, um, yeah, I'm on stage. It's just my personality is a bit jarring. It's actually the pits. I've never been less happy. Before I was drunk and I looked unhappy on the outside. Now I'm unhappy on the inside and look good on the outside. I enjoy drinking. It passed time and I, um, I like tapping out and forgetting about the absolute mess that what the world is. I see all of humanity a joke and just laugh at, at the, as the world burns. Do you know what I mean? So I don't feel like what you're asking is to, to what's my opinion? No, I have no opinion. I like to play all sides and just laugh at, at life. So I wouldn't really say I have any pro or negative views on drugs. Like I don't have opinions on anything. I just basically transition through material. Oh, that's, that's fuck man. To, to, to wrap it all up into one, it's uh, to just throw mud on society. Do you know, just to throw a bit of doubt uh, about the current cultural ideas and to just make uh, a bit of cynicism about about everything that's taken taken as like, oh, well, you live this way and this is what you are. And I just like to, to be, um, yeah, the cynic, yeah. the jaded sort of vile antagonist. I don't think we've made the best use of our consciousness. We've come along, no one understands where we've come from. And the entire idea now is to just put these, these existence into production for no apparent reason, you know, with capitalism and we just consume. And I think it's a, just a perversion of fear and greed. You want to feel safe and secure in your suburban and you want greed. You want more and more money and more and more gold, but for no, for what reason? So for me, it's a, it's a, it's a despicable thing that comes from the upper class. And it's a revulsion of the tennis, the tennis club mums that have too much time on their hands and have the gall to judge the working class. I don't know, man, it's just trying to be irreverent. Loud, irreverent, and quite like a screaming, screeching sound in your soul. But the best way to describe it is like running your nails down a chalkboard. That's basically my act. I just visualize the futility of all and realize that most of the, we're all ghosts, uh, anonymous and of, of little relevance, and that in, if you imagine beyond your 100 years onto 1,000, you realize that most of these people's views and opinion are, are relevant. And in the timeline, if you flash back in, a, in three, four hundred years when they look back, we'll be a laughing stock. I believe that all ideas are a shared consciousness and I don't even think you write your own ideas, you just tap in and that's why you can't claim ownership. Yeah, so I say, is there a comedy god? Not really. There's a shared consciousness and then you just deliver it, you, you dig into it and you deliver back shit that people are reading you and then we enjoy it because we're like, we're all shocked that we both, we all knew the one truth. I think the best way to do comedy is to reveal your greatest fears, and I'm still not at that stage, but when you realize that that's a shared thing, that the truths that you should never have said are actually experienced by people, by this strange guy and this girl, it's, it's a very, it makes you feel a lot less lonely. But then in a weird way, doing comedy is the loneliest pursuit of them all, because you're isolated and you, you totally detach from the social world which is getting drunk and going out you're off behind a fucking curtain just revealing shit that you probably didn't even really write right you just observe something that everyone already knew